now we are discussing the isdn layer isdn stands for integrated services digital network now whenever we are operating the data as well as voice through one line which is the telephone line that is called the isdn so these are the layers of isdn there are actually three layers in the isdn so talking about the first layer we are having the first layer which is the user plane so talking about the user plane user plane is basically for the user to user communication let us suppose that two user want to communicate then the connection between them is taken care by the user plane and we know that there are multiple channels in the isdn just like we are having b channel called the bearer channel and the h channel which is the hybrid channel so the functionality of b channel and h channel are also taken care by the user plane this user plane if we see into the diagram this is the part and there we can see that it is inspired by the osi model where all the layers of osi model are taken care and with the help of that the user to user communication is taken so here physical data link network transport session presentation and application layer which has taken from the osi model and with the help of that we are communicating from user to user communication now the next type of layer in the isdn we are having is the control plane now talking about the control plane we know that we are having the different different interfaces in the isdn and we are having different different channels also now we already know in the user plane we work with the b channel which is the bearer channel and the h channel hybrid channel now talking about the control plane here we use the d channel d channel is a data channel but that is used for the signaling so all the signaling part is taken care by the control plane so this control plane functionality is to take care of signaling now if we see the control plane in the diagram this control plane is also inspired by the osi model so here the physical data link network transport session presentation and application layer these are the layers taken from the osi model and these layers are used for working for the signaling so talking about the user plane user plane define the functionality of b channel and the h channel there we are transmitting the data b is the bearer channel h is the hybrid channel then talking about the control plane control plane define the functionality of d channel d is the data channel which is working for the signaling now the last plane or the last layer we are having is the management plane so the last we are having is the management plane now talking about the diagram we can see that this one is the management plane and this is also encompasses with the user and the control plane that means it is also taking care of the user as well as the control plane and the main task of this management plane is that taking care of user plane and the control plane as well as it just manage the whole network so there we are having the three layers of isdn the first one we are having is the user plane this user plane is inspired by the layers of osi model it take care of b channel and the h channel b is the bearer channel h is the hybrid channel and these are used for sending the data then talking about the next layer in the isdn we are having is the control plane that take care of the d channel d channel is a data channel that is used for signaling signalings are the thing which support the data to go so the next one we are having is the management plane management plane take care the whole network and also it deals with the user and the control plane so that is all about the layers of isdn